This is Dina, and this is my very first uh, tutorial for my designs of the Lottie dolls and other dolls. Um, bear with me, I'm a little anxious because it's my first one that I've ever done. But anyways, we're going to start with, right, get right to it and start with the very basic Lottie doll head. We're going to do the stuffing of the head, which I've already done some of it, and uh, the placement of the eyes. And this particular video, we're going to be doing just the basic um, original Lottie doll eyes. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Lottie doll patterns, um, look below uh, in the information box and you will see a link to the free uh, Lottie doll pattern that uh, I created a couple of years ago. And the reason for these tutorials is for my group on Ravelry, We Make Dolls, and just to help everybody see how I make my dolls. And just little tips here and there on how to do it to get it similar to myself. Now, what, I'm, what I've used is plain old Worsen acrylic yarn, just like this. Works perfect. If you don't have Worsen, as we all know on my board, DK is fine, just have to go down to size and needles. I'm using uh, double-pointed needles, 4.5 millimeters, so I'd be uh, US 7. And so what you will do then to get to this section is you will follow the instructions on the head up until you get to the last, um, the line where it's uh, every, three decrease, every three stitches you decrease. Then you will want to stuff the head pretty firm. And I used a plain old polyester uh, stuffing and I get it at Walmart. It works great. So I like to stuff my heads fairly firm. So yes, and also bear with me that I am not a professional YouTuber or anything like this. So this is extremely new for me and a little intimidating. <laughs> so anyways, we stuff it, and I just pretend that I am talking to a group of people here. Now, when I get to about this section, this is the part that I find that a lot of people make a, a very big uh, mistake with, and that's the placement of the eyes. You do not want your eyes, okay, here's the face, okay? You do not want your eyes way up here. And you don't want them, you know, up high or really far, uh, far apart. So I usually like to go, believe it or not, really low, like around here. And I usually find a section and then I go like this. And then this is the part where I really like and I squeeze it, squeeze it, and squeeze it down. And I see, ta-da, I like it. I may not like it a bit, so I just go squeeze the face together a bit, you know? And then I like to take, this is just another, um, Acrylic yarn, again, worsen. Take a big strand. My number one tool to use is a tapestry, a tapestry needle. And I usually do start this before I get to the closing of the head because I want a position. So you see what I did? Here's, a, here's my indentation where I went the eyes. And notice how low I am. Is how low I am. I am not up high at all. And it's okay that it's spread, spread apart a bit because when I put my needle through like this, putting it in through one, popping it out through the other, what is going to happen is once I start to form the eyes, it's going to go in a bit in here so that you're going to end up with a little less part. So I'm going to show you Position myself here. I'm going to show you how I like to go in and over. And in and over. It doesn't look very good right now, but now I have a little yarn on this side and a little yarn on here. So now I'm going to try to form almost like a little X, oh sorry, a square. Okay. Go. Just 
just move the camera around a bit because I found that that wasn't a good position to uh, show you exactly what I was doing. Now I'm going to play around a bit here and go back and forth a bit because I'm ready for that. And then I'll get it. Oh, that's about too much for me. You can do that when you feel like there's too much. Just like really play here. side. And I really just keep going until I really like how the eye is shaped. We often will look back. Get rid of this piece here. It's distracting me. Also, too, like sometimes when you're doing it, if you feel like you're not liking how the eye is turning out, don't be afraid to just go back in there and just cut it all out. Like the, the, not the, I'm talking about the eye, not the head, of course, just the eye. And uh, start from scratch. Like, I mean, I know it's a lot of work and whatnot, but if you're not satisfied, then you know that what you have to do. Go out and cut the eyes out. It wouldn't be the first time I've had to do it. I've done it many times. I'm very much a perfectionist. When I see what I want for a doll, I need to get some more yarn, and it's not going the way I want it to, I have no qualms with ripping out something I've already done. I know it seems like a lot of work, but in the end, what you really want is to be happy with what you've done. And uh, if it's not what you like, then change the face. The doll will tell you. I will definitely tell you. Okay, so I had to cut, I, I ran out of uh, some yarn. I really like this, how this eye is turning out here. So I'm just gonna work on it a little bit more. The other eye was a little rough going. And I know a lot, I'm gonna pull this right in here a bit. Pull it, pull it, okay. I know a lot of you guys think, oh, how can you, you seem to do the faces with ease, but you're not seeing me knitting. <laughs> and if you did, you'd realize just how much I struggle to get the perfect face also. It's just, uh, it's natural. Now with the classic Lottie face, um, this face, why a lot of people have said, oh, why don't I do mouths on the classic ones? And I'll tell you why. Um, when I first started doing the dolls, I was inspired by a lot of old fashioned dolls that I really loved as a child. And drag dolls are still pretty much the only toy that I liked as a child that to this day give me like a good memory feeling. So, um, one of the things I liked was the mysterious kind of innocent look of just your plain doll with the plain eyes and no face, like a, no mouth or whatever. It reminds me almost like a Little House in the Prairie and uh, Raggedy Ann. I know she had a face, but Holly Hobby, it gives me that type of feel. Okay, I'm just going to show you here. My eyes are definitely not alike. This eye here, I am not keen on how it went. So here is a prime example of how I'm going to... I don't like how this one's going here. I'm just going to remove some of it out because I just don't like it. Right here. This is the part I don't like. 
And I'm just going to get rid of some of that. And then we'll be able to continue. Pause just for now. Okay, so I just get rid of that little extra bit. And so I'm liking it a little bit better now. Getting there. A lot of times, so you can see, I just like to go in and out like this. That's usually a good way. Okay, let me just squish up the face. I think we need to add a little bit more stuffing just to give uh, our little, it feels like a little gal, um, some more shape. Oops. I'm going to show you, too, a little something that I find um, when I'm doing my dolls. Is sometimes I'll change the shape of the face once I start doing the stuffing. Now, I think what I'm going to do here, I've got my eyes pretty set, but we want to now close up the head. So, just keep stuffing it really good and firm. Bounce it around. Bend in those eyes. I really can't emphasize how much I want that indentation in there. I'm not going to remove my um, yarn yet from here because I'm not finished with this eye and I'm still not finished with this eye, but I'm getting there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off with the pattern where I knit everything together here and uh, then we'll go from that there when we're finishing off the doll and see if we want to do some reshaping of the face. Okay, so I have finished uh, sewing up our little doll's head and finished knitting up the decreases. And like I said, you can, if you are not familiar with my patterns and whatnot, and this is your first time viewing this video, the free Lottie Doll Basic Pattern can be found on the link below, which will bring you to um, the Lottie Doll Basic Body. This is placement, this video is specifically for the placement of the eyes. So I'm just weaving in here. Um, just I just like to do that. I don't know why I just do. All that's going to be hidden anyways by the skull cap, which will be a another video um, at a later time, but very soon. So anyways, I just back to our face. Now we can really, really start to see a little face emerging. And when we do this, if you notice, look at how I turn this sideways. Look at that. A little shape happening here. Uh huh. And you notice where the eyes are? Down below. If you notice too, where our, where we start to, um, we finish with our increases, that is pretty much where I like to align my eye, where we finished with the increases, which a lot of people would think, oh, well, let's put them up here by the end of the, um, just the repeat rounds and starting the answer the decrease rounds. No, no, that's way too high. It's way, way too high. You must do it down lower. This is going to be your chin area. This will be like where, if you want to put a nose, a nose or a mouth. I, like I said, I'm doing the basic uh, Lottie, which is still one of my favorites, which is just the eyes and uh, maybe a couple of the eyebrows. But that's it. I'm actually probably a little tuck. Because I like my eyes now. Let me just take a peek here. Myself. Out. Yeah, I'm liking the way those little eyes are now. So I'm just going to go through here again, give it a little tug because I want it to have it a little bit closer together. Let's see? Yeah, definitely like the way that's looking. I know she looks a little alien right now, but that's okay. That's exactly how they all look. Now, if we want to put a little eyebrow, I'm not sure if I do, but let's just see here. I usually will go up. And just a little, I usually like them to look a little forlorn because I just think it's adorable when they look like that, like a little lost soul. Kind of reminds me of, oh, precious moments, exactly. Yeah. I have a little, little brow. I'm going to try the other side. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep this because I'm not sure I want an eyebrow. 
for this doll. Okay. this out the top of the head so I kind of can get a better view of oh actually I think I do like her eyebrows now next thing I am always squishing and puffing just move this okay so now I'm gonna just give it a little pumping my tapestry needle my tapestry needle is my lifesaver. I use it for everything. Now, okay, remember I was saying that sometimes I like to use yarn to shape it more, and here's an example. Now you see, I like, I kind of like how her little face is right now. I don't really feel the need to um, change it, so I'm just going to move this up just a tiny bit. Um, I don't really feel the need to change it, but if I wanted to give her just a little different look, like here, actually I do like what I often will do is I'll pinch the doll and I'll look and then I'll say hmm I kind of like that look and then I will take my yarn same as the skin get it fairly long st strand take my tapestry needle and I'm going to insert the needle Okay, so here I pinch it. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I pinch it, and I usually do it like halfway between the eyes. So it'll, be, but I do it on the side where their ears would be, and I pop it through. So you see where the ears would be. So this is where I'm going to pop it through, and I'm going to pop it all the way through to the other side. This will really change. Um, whoops the shape of uh, the head, but in a positive way. Pull it through, and then what you do is you just give it a little turn around, and I usually will just go like this, crisscross, pop it through again, all the way through. Oops, this here. I, I don't like to cut a lot of the yarn until I'm really sure I'm done using it. Oh, lost my there and I lost my, my my yarn there. Okay. Sorry about that. And yeah, so pop it through. And I'll do it a couple of times. Make sure I don't go too tight. Pull some base here. Perfect. That's going good. Looks looks a little bit like Casper the Friendly Ghost right now. Now, remember, all of this will be covered with your skull cap, which will be the next um, video I'll demonstrate. You can tie that in if you want and not, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to do it anyways. So I don't want that too tight. Oh, there. There we go. Now I'm pleased. Yeah. Perfect. This is just all extra yarn, which you can just remove. I don't bother to cut it right down because, like I said, it's going to be hidden in the, the skull cap. This part here, I will just take this in, go through here, pop it outside the back of the head, give it a good yank, pull, and she's ready for a skull cap. Hey guys, thank you very much for this uh, first video. Um, stay tuned, uh, there's more to come. But this is your first uh, video of the basic Lottie doll head and how I do it. Thank you.